I have like three stands and of course good morning good morning okay so um ah uh, good morning <laughs> brother Richard Hendrick um he wrote the lockdown poem very very excited oh, there he is there he is all right you can see all of his pairs mm. hello good afternoon, good afternoon, afternoon from good here morning. <laughs> i forget yes yes it's a what quarter to one in, in the Ireland? afternoon Oh, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, it is so nice to you. meet you. I remember um, finding you after your um, the 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 poem mm. that you did on the lockdown, which is so beautiful. Um, all right. So now with the rosary today, um, do you oh, want to lead you, or you, do you want me fine. to lead? There's no problem. I'd answer away. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, so just a few intentions before we start. Um, Christina's asked us to pray for Riley, um, a freshman in high school who lost her mother yesterday. Um, and also Katie has asked us that God would continue to reveal how merciful he is in the midst of her tendency toward legalism. And then from Kathleen, please pray for Ken Clark, who's undergoing heart surgery today. And then also just want to pray for everybody who's here, um, all families and anybody um, who has no one to pray for them. And then um, any anything that you would like to pray for or add? I think just to um, before we start? in general prayer for peace, peace in our world at this time. I think that's the most important thing that we, we can pray for, really, for peace in the world and peace in our own hearts at this time. All right. We will get started here. All right. Okay. All right. So there might there there might be a little bit of an overlap. So what we might do is once we start the decade, um, we'll go back and forth. But the one person will just say the full decade. Is that okay? And then we'll switch. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on Give earth this as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And we pray for an increase in faith, hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the Holy fruit Mary, of thy womb, Mother of God, Jesus. pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit Holy of Mary, thy womb, Mother of Jesus. God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the Holy fruit Mary, of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Jesus. pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in Holy the beginning, Spirit. is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need to thy mercy. 
And the first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. We just ask for the courage to see and to know and to follow God's will. Sure. Do you want to do this decade then? Our Father, Our Father the who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. And the second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. And we pray for purity of heart and purity of intention. And this is part of your poem. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbors in a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, and to what really matters, to love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who must need of thy mercy. And the third sorrowful mystery is the crowning of thorns, and the fruit of this mystery we pray for is moral courage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy.
And the fourth sorrowful mystery is Jesus carries his cross. And the fruit of this mystery we pray for is patience. And again, this is from your poem. So we pray and we remember that, yes, there's fear, but there does not have to be hate. Yes, there's isolation, but there does not have to be loneliness. Yes, there's panic buying, but there does not have to be meanness. And yes, there's sickness, but there does not have to be disease of the soul. Yes, there is even death, but there can always be a rebirth of love. Wake to the choices you make as to how to live now. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. And the fifth sorrowful mystery is Jesus' crucifixion, and we pray for perseverance. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Are there any other prayers, maybe, that you want to pray or that you no, add on? Usually, after? just um, as we draw the, the, the rosary to, to a close, we usually include a little greeting that um, St. Francis uh, himself had, uh, which is simply, We adore you, most holy Lord Jesus Christ, here and in all your churches and tabernacles throughout the world, and we bless you. For by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. I think I should have had you just say the whole rosary because your your oh, your voice was it was so delightful. Um, so just I want to share a couple things before um, I just ask you a couple questions on the rosary and prayer. Um, but you're the author of Still Points, A Guide to Living the Mindful, Meditative Way. And you've also, you wrote the touching poem during the pandemic titled Lockdown, which I was, I read a little bit um, during the meditations. And then um, I also love that you even teach, um, you teach Christian meditation um, with the Sanctuary Spirituality Center in the inner city of Dublin. Um, and you obviously are Captain Franciscan priest friar living and working in Dublin, Ireland. Um, so, <laughs> so many questions. But first, uh, we always just love to ask our guests their rosary story. So, um, if you even just could share maybe how you first stumbled upon the rosary or your first sure. memory of it, and then maybe well, obviously now how it's more it's of a habit. It's always been there. Uh, it's always been there. It was part of my family's practice. I grew up in a, in a Catholic family. Um, so it was a particularly um, important prayer for my mother and, and for my grandmother before her, uh, her, her, her mother. And so for me, my background memory as, as a child is not just that uh, the rosary was there. We, we, we did our best to gather together um, to, to pray, if not the rosary, then at least a portion of it. Um, for most of, of my childhood life, we, we, we did that in the evenings. Um, usually, usually we managed a decade without argument. And then after that, things happened. Um, but um, 
I suppose as we got older, um, it, it became an, a very important prayer for me um, to, to stay close to Our Lady. And interestingly, as time has gone on, and, and, and obviously it's, it's a core devotion at, at the heart of the Franciscan life and, and Capuchin life, we tend to think of the Rosary as a Dominican devotion, um, having, having been promoted and preached through uh, the sons of, of Dominic. Uh, but it's always been there in the Franciscan, um, the Franciscan heart, I suppose, as a way of, of being, being present to Our Lady and through Our Lady to, to the Lord. Um, so for me, I suppose it starts with family and then it expands out into the friars. And then it has also been enriched by my work in terms of um, teaching Christian meditation as well uh, over the years, um, because it's, it's the entire summation of the meditative journey and, and um, the contemplative teaching of the church, whether you want to know the theology or not is one thing, but as long as you're practicing the rosary, praying the rosary, you're in fact accomplishing that contemplative journey. Um, and so as, as so many popes and saints and mystics have taught, the rosary is, is, a, is an extraordinarily direct route uh, to the heart of Christ, to the heart of the gospel. And it's Mary who brings us there. That was really beautiful, the direct route to Christ. <clears throat> and I think you also said somewhere, is this, I might be not saying this correctly, but prayer or meditation is, I think you used the words, it's a gaze, our gaze of love. I don't know if so, you want to uh, yeah, share I'm, more I'm about quoting, that. I'm quoting many others in that. Um, you know, St. John Vianney, the great uh, curé of ours, again, a great devotee of the Rosary and of Our Lady. Um, he, he summed up prayer um, and meditation. He, when he would preach, he would generally, if he was giving insights from his own prayer, he would put them in, in the mouth of another uh, because of, of humility. But he, he used to t speak about a man he knew, meaning himself, who spent many hours in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And when the man was asked, what do you do? He said, I simply look at him and he looks at me, you know? And so what we're attempting to arrive at with all forms of prayer, including the rosary, is a silent inner communion with the Lord. Um, one of the beautiful ways in which uh, the, the rosary was taught to me was that the rosary can be prayed in one of two ways. And it used to be spoken of as the way of remembrance or the way of forgetting. So the way of remembrance is when we did just what we did there now. We name the mysteries and we think about them and we may perhaps visualize them or we might use some of the scriptures associated with them. But it's a discursive, meditative remembering. And it brings us into remembrance of the Lord, of his, of his, uh, his grace in our life and in the world and all that he has done. Uh, we, we sum up the whole gospel, you know, with the circle of the rosary. But the other way, and it's the way that a lot of our, our older uh, people and our older friars pray it as well, especially is known as the way of forgetting. And it means forgetting self, you know, the forgetfulness of self. And so in that sense, the rosary becomes um, a, a, a re repetition of prayer that includes a bodily element, the passing of the beads in our hands, the mental element in terms of remembering the words themselves, the heart and, and, the, and the spirit, because we're focusing those, we're concentrating those in a time of prayer. But it becomes a beautiful way of simply forgetting self and descending into the mystery of prayer. And so when that happens, then we'll even find at times our hands are passing the beads, but perhaps we're not actually consciously praying the words at that time. But what we're doing is we're just simply sitting with our mother. We're sitting with our mother in that sense, you know. Um, my own mother passed away some years ago, and, and I know uh, towards the end of her life, um, there were plenty of times we sat and we talked, and there were plenty of times we just sat in silence, and that was fine. Uh, because it's the silence of love. It's, it's a communion of love. Uh, and I think the rosary can, can give us both of those ways, the way of remembering and the way of forgetting as well. And both of those things bring us into that gentle gaze of love. Well, and I think so many of us, we, we think that we're doing it wrong or we're doing it incorrectly because we get distracted or I, that's why I actually think it's such a beautiful yeah. prayer is because of course. We're going to get distracted. <laughs> One of the of things redirects. people often yeah. forget is that distraction yeah. is actually necessary in the prayer practice. So very often people come to prayer and they think, you know, I prayed about this much and the rest was all the distractions, you know. 
But actually, because we're, we're fallen and in need of God's grace, one of the things that happened was our intellect was darkened. And that means that our, our focus, our ability to attend, to be present to things is very distracted. And even more so now, we live in a very distracted world. So when we come into prayer, as long as we notice the distraction, don't get attached to it, smile at it if you like, because it's just the weakness of our human nature, and then return to the Lord. Each time we're strengthening the attentive faculty, we're giving the Lord more authority over our, our um, focus, over our attention. So this, the image of this is often, you know, if you go to the gym to build up a muscle, you lift a weight, but you have to put the weight down again and lift it again and down again in order to build the muscle. If you just lift the weight and hold it, nothing improves. So from that point of view, what we're doing every time we, we lift the weight is we're focusing on the prayer. Every time we become distracted, we're putting it down again. But as long as we lift it up again, we're in prayer. We're in prayer at that moment. So again, the greatest uh, experts in, in all of this, people like St. Therese of Avila, St. Francis de Sales, St. Jean-Francis de Chantal, all of those say that as long as we come back, we come back, we come back, then we have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. But like a little child who's, you know, we, we've often seen them, maybe around the supermarket or whatever, a little child is with their mother and they run off and get distracted looking at things. And then suddenly they wake up that, where's mom? You know, they look up and they run back again. As long as we run back again, we have nothing to fear. Any um, tips or any advice for those of us who are very distracted and very busy? How to remind ourselves well, to this come is back. Where, this is where the, the title of the book that you mentioned, Still Points, came from. I, I knew a very old and wise priest. Um, he was known to, to many people just simply as Father H. Um, and he, he looked after, he was a school chaplain, looked after young people a lot. Great man. He passed to the Lord just last year. But he gave me a wonderful, wonderful image um, of, of how we can build this into our lives more readily. He said, imagine your day is like a road stretching out in front of you. And along that road, you place telephone poles. You know, the poles that carry the old telephone wires. He said, you place those poles at regular intervals, and then you string the wire of your attention between those, those poles. As long as the poles are there, the message will travel. So we get up in the morning, and if at all possible, we dedicate our first moment of conscious awareness to the Lord, the old practice of the morning offering, you know? It's so important. All of the saints speak of it. Just that first little moment of consciousness saying, Lord, here I am. I'm here to serve you again. And it only has to be that, that short, you know, that moment. If we have formulas for it, that's great. But as long as there is an attentiveness of the heart in that moment, we offer the day. Now, of course, we're going to be distracted by the business of the day, by all kinds of things. But even using our phones to do this is wonderful. Set a little alarm that goes off once an hour, maybe. And in that moment, spend, you know, three Hail Marys. A little aspir a prayer of aspiration, a prayer of, of uh, throwing our eyes towards the, the, the nearest church or having, having a look at our, at our loved ones and just giving thanks for them or offering the particular piece of work we're doing at that moment you know, to the Lord for whatever intention. As long as we have those poles along the way, the day, the day passes and we remain in and around the presence of the Lord. And if we get distracted, well, the next pole is coming up, you know. The two, the two mistakes that beginners make with regard to the telephone poles. One is putting far too many in. And if we put far too many in, we won't achieve any of them. We will be frustrated with them. And we'll end up um, just you know, throwing the practice there. As, as Father H used to put it, the wires are too taut and they get broken. The other mistake is too far apart. And if they're too far apart, it sags, the wire sags, and when it sags, it gets caught, caught up in the, in, the, in the mud of the earth, the distractions of our, of our human life. So the, the best advice is start with what you're doing already. If you know what you're going to be doing, for example, um, you know, uh, the journey to work, well, for 10 minutes on the journey to work, switch off the radio, switch off the podcast, whatever it might be, and just give the Lord that little moment of conversation with you. You know, the car can be a wonderful hermitage. It's very often the only place we're by ourselves nowadays, you know. So to give that little moment to the Lord, uh, to give a moment when we're, when we're eating, the moment of grace, you know, grace before and after. We should say grace over our whole life, not just over that. And of course, then our rosary, whether we string it, you know, as little decades or Hail Marys across the day, or whether we're actually able to, to simply pass the beads in our pocket when we're, when we're, we're working away. 
the most important thing is intention and just having those little moments along the way where we become present to the Lord who is always present to us. That's one of the most important lessons of all. Teresa of Avila said it beautifully. She said, most people make a big mistake. And the mistake is they think that when I'm holy enough, the Lord will be present to me. And she says, those people are like people who spend all their life looking out the window, waiting for their friend to arrive, when all along their friend is sitting at the kitchen table behind them, waiting for them to join them. You know, the Lord is always with us. We are the ones who are not with him because of our distractedness or our sinfulness or our brokenness. And I'm, I'm one of the biggest sinners of all. Absolutely. But I know that if I turn to the Lord and begin again each day with him and with his blessed mother, if I put those still points or those telephone poles in place, then slowly I can acquire the presence of the Lord, a recollectedness that allows me to kind of bring that presence with me. And then we become living gospels, you know, uh, and that's, that's the, the gift, I think, that the Lord gives to us in those focus moments. And wouldn't you say a lot of it, I've just learned from here, along with my sister, it's, it's really, it's in the fidelity in just <laughs> meeting those yeah. poles and picking up the phone, whether Absolutely. you're so exhausted. But I think, I think the important think, thing then is yeah. the exhaustion can become a pole. Lord, I am tired is a wonderful prayer. Bring the honesty to him, you know, you know rest in him. I remember years ago, a lady said to me, uh, she was very ill at the time, and she said, you know, I just can't pray anymore. She said, I just can't pray anymore. And I thought she meant she was exhausted with the illness. Or with the... So I was talking to her, I said, you know, the Lord doesn't expect you to do anything more than you're able to do. So just simply offer your being to him in this moment. And she said, no, no, brother, you're getting it wrong. My arms are gone weak and I can't lift my prayer book anymore. That was her, her, her worry. So I said, look, forget about the book. Forget about the prayers or the devotions. You know, they had a place at a particular time. Now what the Lord is calling you to do is to grow in trust and actually to lovingly abandon yourself to him. Then yeah. Bernadette put it beautifully. She said, you know, when we're sick and weak and tired, just go asleep holding your rosary because really what you're doing is going asleep like a little child who holds their mother's hand while they're sleeping. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful way of putting it. So just to, to, to recognize, you know, God loves us. He loved us first. He gave himself for us. And he even gave us his mother to show us just how much he loves us. So what are we afraid of? No fear, no anxiety, no agitation. The spirit brings peace and calmness and stability and stillness. And so what we're trying to do is to grow in trust in the Lord. Now, we all struggle with that. I struggle with that too. We all struggle with it. But the most important thing is to daily moment by moment, begin again in God's grace. So beautiful. Everything is so yeah. encouraging. Thank you. <laughs> I'm curious, what moment, or like, <laughs> when is it hard for you? All of the time. You know, I, I think this is, <laughs> this is one of the things. Oh. People, you know, they, they, they see the title or they see the robe or they, they know that we've done, you know, the theology and the prayer and all Absolutely we think it's easy not. for we you begin again right? every single day, every single moment, sometimes many times a day, you know, uh, we fall, but we get up and we trust in the Lord. St. Francis said, the reason we wear this robe is to mark ourselves publicly as sinners. This is the robe of a penitent, someone who knows that they are doing penance for themselves and for everybody else. So in that sense, if I was to come in front of you and say, I'm a great teacher or a great, you know, master or a great... That, that would be an absolute lie. You know, I am someone who has struggled with sin my whole life and I will struggle with it till my dying breath like every other human being. But the most important thing is to recognize that every saint began as a sinner. St. Francis said it beautifully. He said, I have been all things unholy. If the Lord can work with me, he can work with anyone. So there is encouragement for us all, no matter, no matter what we are, who we are, you know. We start simply in the brotherhood and sisterhood of our common humanity, but we recognize that it is a humanity that while it is broken and sinful, it is also redeemed and glorified. And the Lord can do extraordinary things through us if we just get out of his way. Right. Oh, I, could, I could really just listen to your encouraging words all day. Sure. It's just so what we need. And I feel like, the constant reminders. We just really, we need those telephone poles. And the reason we put so many out there is because sure. we know that's what we need. Because we're all so just, I 
speaking for myself, I just know how yeah. distracted and Absolutely. overwhelming everything everything can be, which means yeah. Yeah. you need it even more, right? It's like it lengthens well, the time. The, the, the old, brings the old the wisdom of the monastic time. life was, you know, seven times a day I pray, I pray. So we, we, we place the seven, the seven great offices of, of the prayer, the divine office. And it's not that everybody should be trying to follow our timetable. That's my particular vocation, whatever it might be. But we need to know our own particular vocation. Mm -hmm. So a mother who gets up in the morning and is busy with children, we're not expecting her to kneel down and abandon her children and, and uh, you know, enter into, and, into, in, into prayer. At that moment, her prayer is her service of her children. The same for a father, the same for anyone who's looking after mm -hmm. anybody or caring for anybody. Charity always comes first. You know, our duty of state and of life comes first. But I think what's important is for us to recognize that anything we are doing can become holy as long as we bring attentiveness to it, as long as we bring att intention to it. Um, mm -hmm. And that's what the monastic life is actually teaching. The idea was not that the seven great offices are all important, but that the holiness that exists between the seven offices is what's important. St. Therese of Lisieux at one stage was asked about mm -hmm. religious life. Somebody was complimenting her on her vocation to be a Carmelite and saying how special she must be, how wonderful she must be. And she said, you know, the religious life is God's greenhouse. It's where he puts the plants that wouldn't survive outside. And I think that's a beautiful, beautiful way of looking at it because it's a reminder to us that actually all we're doing is, is in an exaggerated way, because sometimes to teach, you have to kind of exaggerate. We show you know, greater movement, so we slow things down. In an exaggerated way, we're showing what every human being is called to, which is an attentive awareness to the Lord mm -hmm. and to try and live as a brother or a sister to everyone we meet. Yeah, I've never one of my looked favorites. at greenhouse <laughs> yeah. quote, but that makes it's mm. it's beautiful. It makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it for wow, that's that's beautiful. Okay, so um, can we? So your book still points, and then also can they take your classes? Yeah, we do. We do from time to time. Or? I haven't been teaching recently with the pandemic and stuff. It's been all over the place, but we're slowly we're slowly coming back to to um right. to a kind of a, a more um organized way of looking at things i suppose so if they keep an eye on the website um i think you, you had it in, in in the notes there um i turn up on there from time to time and as things happen they'll appear on online i suppose as well um the still point the book itself is is available um on kindle and audible and all of those kind of things the hard copy book will not be available in the states until january i think i think it's coming out then um but they'll find it in all the usual okay. places but exciting. We want to put, we want to put it out kind. there when it comes because we, yeah, we want to. And can I just, and I just stress with Yeah, I'm just book. curious if the I The book can... isn't about me. <laughs> it's very important. It, it would be useless to you if it was about me. Uh, the book is, is really about the, the wisdom that has come um, as I've uh, taught and learned from the Franciscan tradition, from the natural world around and from our Catholic tradition and devotion. So that's, that's what's there um, for people who are interested in it. It follows the course of the year through the seasons. And the idea is like the old gardener's almanac that would tell you what to do in each month, you know, and what you need to do in the garden or on the farm or whatever. It, it draws your attention to what God is saying in the natural world through the different seasons. So the comments are, they're like 10 minutes behind. And so I knew that a lot of them would be blown away by what you were saying, but I, they, now they're coming up. Sure. <laughs> and you. so you can see them. Uh, they're just, they're saying, wow. And yeah, how beautiful. So, so grateful. So now I think even we're what, so on, I know if you go to Facebook, all of your yeah, poems it's, it's all there. I've, I've taken there. A, a break um, yeah. while I was doing the kind of the, the writing and also some discernment in my own life. You know, sometimes it's important to step back from all of the distractions mm -hmm. and social media and stuff like that. So, um, but everything that I have published is up there so people can scroll through and find whatever. And if it's, use, if it's useful to them, that's fine. And also just to say to anybody, I have an open policy. So if you ever want to use any of the stuff with any other group or prayer group or publish it in your newsletter, just go ahead and do it. There's no problem. It's for everybody. Well, I think that's there. There's truly there's, you know, God works through everyone in a variety of ways and some tend to 
hit our hearts or minds differently, right? And so I think um, wherever they search, and we'll we'll share links too, so that they can find. I I thought your writings were just thank you so beautiful, and everything you said here today. Thank you. We need Absolutely. to put up our telephone them, poles. even in the storms. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. So the 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 name of the book, and and we'll be sure to put this up too, you guys. So um, he said it'd be available in hard copy mm -hmm. in the United States in January, but it's called Still Points: A Guide to Living the Mindful Meditative Way. And then um, he also he had a poem go viral mm -hmm. during the pandemic, which is called Lockdown. And then um, he's he's in Dublin. And um, he also, yeah, you teach a couple different courses, but we'll be sure to share so that you guys can find him. And um, just, wow, thank you, thank you, God. Such a beautiful, beautiful morning, really. <laughs> I just feel well, like I, I can you, skip I through the day, day now. And I hope the, <laughs> hope the telephone poles are all there in place. Okay. <laughs> yes, yeah. God bless you. God bless, God bless you, thank all, you so all, much, all Brother Richard. Okay, bye bye. God bless.